Hey, what is up guys, Gitarok here, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about the ores, basically daily farming ores, and which NPC that you can talk to. I hope you guys are aware by now, if you talk to the two NPCs in each city, Wonstad and Li Yue, alright, so they will both give you an option to farm magical ores. Now that is pretty cool. Now why the hell do you want to be farming ores, right? So as you can see, Alright, if you're trying to make all of the weapons, for sure, you will need ores. Like, forge any of these, okay, any of the prototype weapons, this will require ores, for sure. And also, you can use these crystal chunks, right? You can make multiple of these Mystic Enhancement Ore. And this is extremely, extremely good because you need a ton of these, especially once your weapon goes higher. Now, I read somewhere that from 80 to 90, you will need like probably 200 of those ores. So that is quite a lot for you to be farming. So ideally you want to start farming as much as you can and you can do this daily. So Wagner in Monstead is one of the few guys that you can talk to to be able to farm the ores. You can just click on this option and he tips on finding ore and he will guide you to the place, the locations. So as you can see, he has opened up two locations right here, right? As far as I can tell, wait, three locations, one, two and three. Alright, we're gonna go farm right there. Alright, so usually I'll just use my Klee and start spamming the charge attack. Okay, so I'm done farming all of this in Monstead. So if you go to Li Yue Harbor, there is a same blacksmith guy that will also be guiding you to be farming ores. Alright, so same option about Li Yue's mining products. So you just click on that itself and then he will lead you to a place to farm plenty of crystal ores. So usually if you haven't farmed it for a while, there will be a few options, like for example this one right here. Now, I think this is pretty common knowledge by now for all of you guys. But what I did not know is there are more than two NPCs that actually give you all locations, right? I found a post on Reddit. Alright, shout out to replies positively. So this user managed to post that you can also get two more or locations from one more guy from Springvale, which is Draft himself. Okay, so this guy right here, Draft, you can see there's actually an option for you to be finding. Uh, I think it's this one. Is there of any? Is there anything of not nearby? Wait, the option doesn't seem to be showing up right now, which is really really weird. Maybe it's night time. I'm not sure if that affects it. I'm gonna try to change the time today. Alright, so if you guys no, did not notice, basically Draft will change position. Daytime, he will usually be down here, just chilling with his partner, Alan. So I'm not sure if that could be it. Wait, there is an extra option here. Basically, he will sell you mid. But I think it's this one. Is there anything of not nearby? Oh! Alright, Crystal Ores. Alright, as you guys can see, he did provide me an extra location right there. to will be farming Crystal Ore. So let's go ahead. It's right next to Valley of Remembrance. Ooh, that is a lot of ores. Okay, so one more location you can find is this guy in the Black Cliff Forest in Li Yue. So let me see if I can show it to you guys. So this guy can be found somewhere right here. I'm going to show you guys. Teleport to this uh, golden house first. Alright, you might have to do some climbing on the mountain as well. Okay, he's down there. Let's go. Iron shoulder. Alright, select this option as always. Alright, so you can see there are two locations right there given by him. So I'm gonna go hit right there. Alright, so there's one down there. So this is probably one of my few favorite locations. Okay, besides these two extra NPC, there's also one more in Thousand Winds Temple. Alright, if you guys are not aware, there's one guy usually right here. Let's see if I can find him and show it to you guys. Okay, this Doolan guy, right? So you can see there's this option as well. Is there anything of not nearby? So right now, apparently, there has not. Alright, she's according to him, there's nothing of note except for hairstyle. But yeah, he's also an NPC that can give you ores if there are any mining ores nearby. Okay, so next location is this guy in Jueyun Cars. Now this one is a little bit tricky.
Alright, if you never talk, if you never talked to this guy before, he does give you a weapon, I believe. So just choose this particular option. Alright, so apparently there's nothing right now. There's one more guy in Lingju Pass. So it's quite far away to the left. Alright, this guy, she is on the strong. Alright, there's nothing here as well, but he does reveal all locations as well. One more in Bright Crown Canyon. This is in Mondstadt. Alright, you can see an option right here as well. Okay, so those are the known NPCs for the time being. If I'm not mistaken, there are actually more. Someone has reported that there are like 3 to 4 more and I can't seem to find it. If I actually do find them in the future, I'll hopefully try to update you guys in the future video. But for the time being, make sure you guys farm the ores in this specific spot, alright? Now there's a sort of like a misconception going on about regarding the timer. Some players have said that they, are mani they have managed to farm it daily. But some players have said that it's only a reset. So I haven't been able to confirm this myself. So far, during reset, it doesn't seem to respawn immediately. So I have a feeling they do... These ores actually do respawn at a 24-hour timer, if I'm not mistaken. So of course, I will need to further clarify that again. Alright, so let me show you guys my preferred method to farm ores. If you have Beidou, what you can do, you can use any pyro character, like Klee for example. Alright, just burn the grass and just use her charge E and release. Alright, so this will basically... Uh, it's a very huge AoE, alright, and for Beidou it's quite easy to do that. If you can get everything within the AoE, it's quite good. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you do subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.